Hi, beautiful. What's going on? Today, we're watching some TikToks. I had someone on my team look up my name and find some videos that were addressed to me or have me involved in it in some way or another. And the best part about TikToks that have anything to do with me is that they either go extremely well, like they're coloring their hair and it comes out beautifully and they want me to see it, or the complete opposite where it comes out so horribly bad that I literally gasp. So I'm sure we're gonna see some of those today. Y'all be doing some up to your hair. Let's see what we have in store for today. I'm sure we're gonna hear a lot of, I'm sorry, Brad Mondo. Oh God, every time I hear that audio, it's just so annoying. It's a lot, it's like a lot of Brads. Let's watch some TikToks, let's do it. I guess we'll start at the top. This first video is by William Tyler. Of course, the caption is, sorry, Brad Mondo, please tag him so he can see his colors in action. Oh, so he's using Xmondo, that's fun. Of course, the first video I click on is the one that is going to say, sorry, Brad Mondo, 500 times, I'm sure. Let, let's, let's watch it. It's not okay. I'm pissed already. Sorry, Brad Mondo. Okay, so we're lightening his hair first. Just to start, he already has a bunch of colors going on. I'm so curious what they're about to do and what X Mondo color they're gonna use, and I'm really intrigued and really excited. Sorry, Brad Mondo. Again, it's Sorry, not okay. Brad Mondo. It's not okay. Sorry. Ooh. It's almost ready. Look at the roots. He looks damn good as a blonde. I'm really into this look right now. Whatever is going on on the screen right now. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Let's get back to what we're watching. Sorry, Brad Mondo. Oh. <laughs> that looks scary so far. He's hopefully not trying to go blonde and I actually know that he's not going to go blonde because I don't have a blonde color out right now. So if he's using my color, he's going some kind of bright color. So this is fine. My hair color will go over this. Sorry, Brad Mondo. <laughs> Next step. Thank you for purchasing all those colors. That's very sweet. Sorry, Brad Mondo. I'm sorry, Brad Mondo. Oh yeah, this is gonna be sick. I'm sorry, Brad Mondo. I'm sorry, Brad. Oh, Okay, so I haven't seen it yet. <gasps> Here's my first reaction to it, but sorry, Brad Mondo. Oh, oh my, God. my God. So good. That is so bright. Actually, to be honest, whoa. Sorry anymore, Brad Mondo. Thanks for the color. You're welcome. By the way, my friend did this, so all the credit to her. His hair looks so healthy, so bright. <laughs> I mean, I know I've had rainbow hair recently and it's faded out now, but um, this definitely made me want rainbow hair again. You did such a good job. Your friend did. Oh my God, 10 out of 10. <gasps> That was an exciting video to start with. Besides the I'm sorry Brad Mondo thing, I'm very intrigued right now what else we have in store today. <laughs> okay, the next one, I saw this one literally today, but I'm gonna watch it again for you guys because it was awesome. This is by Irregular Thinking, and this is called How Did I Do Brad Mondo? And it says, I've been growing my hair for three years but needed a change. Oh! Yo, she really just took those scissors out and just started chopping away. And I was so happy for her. When I saw this video, I was like, yes! Get rid of that dead I love a good bob. I think she should take it even shorter though. And then she went orange on top of it. Just completely redid her whole look. Yo, that hair color is vibrant. I feel like it brings out her personality. I feel like the long pink hair was cute. It was a moment, but I just feel like the orange suits her more. Is it just me? I really enjoy what she did there. Besides the haircut, the haircut was definitely scary to watch uh, because she had literally no sections going on. Her hair was dry and um, she just started cutting, really. She got lucky, I guess. Probably in real life, it doesn't look as great with the haircut, you know, come on. I'm sorry, girl, but I'm gonna call you out for that one. But congratulations. That was a stunning transformation and I applaud you. And your question was, how did you do? I say you did fabulously. <laughs> Next TikTok is by Lauren Page and this is called This Was A Journey. Part two will have the reveal. Okay, at Brad Mondo. Let's see what she does. I decided I am over my blonde and I decided to switch it up and go silver. Okay. I'm over her blonde too. Like I, I don't, I don't even know her, but I feel like she would look good in a lot of things and why not switch it up? You guys know me, I love a change, I say it all the time. So I feel like I'm gonna like this. Adding the developer. Okay, we're doing a, a permanent color moment. Not totally necessary. At least she's not putting in 30 volume developer for no reason. I'm doing, but I know you're supposed to section it, so. Brand Mundo to say that I am doing a fantastic job sectioning. You're doing a fantastic job sectioning. Yes, thank you for doing that. You sectioning queens. 
I see you, baby girl. Hello, Brad Monda. If you're watching this, we're oh, currently okay. mixing two colors because I ran out of the original color that I had. And, and <clears throat> if my hair messes up, I may need you to help me. So <laughs> really sorry, Brad Mondo. <laughs> oh, no. That is the worst case scenario like running out of color in the middle of doing color is like just really not great that's happened to me before it's not fun mm -mm, nope not at all you need to like come up with a different formula that sort of goes with the last one and try to make it all work and you know it's like putting a puzzle together and it's like i don't want to put a puzzle together if i wanted to put a puzzle together i would buy a puzzle so far it's looking really dark i hope she doesn't turn out with something that she doesn't want so my friend went back to sally's to get another color that would be close to it Okay, Dusty Violet was like a, a silvery gray, right? And she got a purplish color mm -mm. and this chrome color to kind of mix to make the same thing. And the people at Sally's were like, oh yeah, that's gonna look great. And now I'm straight up gonna look like Mel from The Descendants. This purple, I still feel like it's gonna look great. It doesn't look like a weird purple. It looks more like steel, like a steel purple rather than like a dusty purple. It looks pretty dark. I'm gonna be honest with you, it looks damn dark. So another update. I don't need your help, Brad Mondo. Ah, she said, you're cut. I don't need your help, Brad, because I look hella good. Yes, you do. You did a great job. That looks amazing. Like what? Lauren, keep that color. That's stunning. For the most part, you did it pretty right. It looks quite even as well. So again, I applaud you. Up next, this video is by Emily Ward and it says, Lord help me. Hashtag Brad Mondo. And already her hair looks destroyed. Putting some of this in my hair anyway. <gasps> Oh my god. I fell asleep with bleach in my hair. No. For two hours. Ah! This is not okay. The tips of my hair are clear. This is not the first time I've heard somebody falling asleep with bleach in their hair. How are you guys falling asleep with bleach in your hair? Y'all must be mad tired. Get some rest. Because that's concerning. I was growing Oh my, my god. You gotta, you gotta cut it all off. Um, now. Did you say a trim? I don't think so. I think it needs to be like literally cut off. Like, bye. Starts to literally stretch and then cut it there. So. The whole thing is, is stretching. Like, this part right here, like wait for it. Oh, stop pulling on it. This is the finished product. We chopped it and it's like this lilac purple color. I think this was a blessing in disguise. I don't know if it was a blessing in disguise. I think you destroyed your hair. At least you could save some of it. At least it dried, honestly, because hair that damage usually does not dry. I'm not happy about what I just saw. Let's not push it that far again. You really destroyed it. This TikTok is by Machine Gun Kayla. Uh, this is called, my mental health is crashing, but at least I look cool. Impulsive decision time. <laughs> Brad Mondo, if you see this, just trust the process. Okay, I'm definitely gonna try and trust the process. I'm not easily very trusting, so this will be hard for me. We got bleach going on, okay. And we have our hair. Right now the process is not trusting me or you. It's fried and frizzy. Yeah, all right, at least this color is really dark. It's going to go over that yellow, I'm sure, which is probably gonna turn it into more of a turquoise, which thank God, because that would have been so yellow if she tried to keep it blonde. I'm. 100% sure there would have been spotting all over the place and it would have been completely pure yellow. And we're rinsing. Oh, shoot. Whoa, I was not expecting it to look this good. Yes, yes, and yes, you look incredible. You should never not have that hair color. You own that color. I've never seen anybody look better. I don't even look that good in blue. I mean, the process looked a little risky and a little shaky, but you definitely got to the finished result. I would have liked the canvas to be a little more even next time. Maybe take your time. I, don't, I didn't really see the process, but just make sure you're, you're sectioning, you're taking your time, you're making sure everything processes at the same amount of time, making sure you're not rinsing off the lighter before it turns nice and bright and pale yellow, because otherwise it's just not gonna be cute. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But great job! Oh, okay. This one I have seen. This is by Janine Nicole, and get ready for this. This is crazy. I followed Brad Mondo's tutorial on how to cut your own hair. Okay, 
I'm happy we're straightening the hair. Would have been better to just wet it. You don't need to straighten it. You can just wet it. You don't need to add damage to everything. Okay, and now we are putting the elastics in seemingly incorrectly. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't see what she did before this, but you're supposed to have the ties behind you, not in front of you. That was a big thing when I made that video. You have to keep the ties behind you. Now she's chopping away. And I, again, am nervous for her, but I'm glad she's getting rid of all that damage. She's also cutting way below the elastics. Like, why did you cut this much below one elastic and then this much below the other elastic? Of course it's not gonna turn out even. What the hell happened? See? See? Why do you think it turned out uneven? Do better. We're gonna trim it up and the back is still gonna look crazy, but at least the front will look fine, I guess. And now we're bleaching the roots. Okay, we're using a little Manic Panic Green. Holy <laughs> I forgot about how it looked when she was done. Every time I see this, I'm like, it's so bright. I love lime green or like neon green. Oh my God. It's like one of the most beautiful colors. But let's just talk about this before and after. If she needed that, I could see her confidence boosted at the end. I could see her endorphins flowing at the end. This is exactly what she needed. I think the process she did was great. I think her hair looks healthy. The cut looks so much better. I like it short a lot, a lot better than before. Awesome job. I love to see it. Our next TikTok. Oh my God. The screen, what it's on right now is giving me a panic attack. Nothing scares me more than when people get brushes stuck in their hair. And nothing scares me more than when I get a brush stuck in somebody's hair. Like I've never done it to this extent. I've never like had to cut somebody's hair out, but I've had times where I'm blow drying hair and I'm like, uh, 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 the panic sets in. Like it, it's happened to every single hairdresser out there. I know it has. And you just start dripping like one little sweat going down your face, just running down. You're like, oh my God. Because you don't want the client to panic. So you have to pretend it's not happening and like distract them somehow. But it's really hard to like distract while you're sweating, while you're panicking and while you're trying to get a brush out of their hair. Oh my God. I've had clients where they're like super mean and obsessed with their hair. And then I've got a brush stuck and I'm like, and I'm like, it's gonna be fine, we need it out. They get stuck easily, okay? This TikTok is by, yes, Danelle, Danelle. Time to upload this horrible moment for 10 people to see. <laughs> um, Brad Mondo, any thoughts? Uh, you have 600,000 likes, so I think more than 10 people saw it. Oh. Are we getting anywhere? I can't, I get it. Oh. You need to do, you hold the hand. Okay. Let me keep holding it. How is she not crying? Oh, you ready? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> These are just like really intense layers now. Don't I, I already have layers. Might as well keep it going. Girl, I think it's gonna be more than intense layers. I think it's gonna be a whole thing chopped on the top of your head. It's gonna look a little wild. Okay, also though, I'm kind of pissed because you guys could get this out. You gotta wet it down, put like a deep conditioner in there, let it sit, let it loosen up those hair fibers, and then you just start pulling strand by strand. Takes a little bit of time, but you could have got this out of your hair without cutting it. Don't get it cut back. I can't believe. I just gotta cut it down here. Do you want me to pull it as <laughs> <pull it. laughs> Dad, I can't believe this is happening to me. At least it's like the fringe part of her hair. <laughs> is she crying? No. <laughs> Just take it out! The suspense is killing me! You ready? <laughs> no. You're not even cutting my hair. I was. <laughs> okay, hi. You <laughs> oh, I can't just do, do what you must. Oh my god, it's so bad. Oh. <laughs> my. <gasps> Shut up. They just cut it all off. <laughs> Thank God this girl has a sense of humor because anybody else would have been like crying. It's <laughs> oh, it's her mom doing it. I look like a boy right now. Oh my God, I have a moment. Ah. Mm -mm. Next time you guys, you need to work on taking it out instead of cutting it out. It's never the answer. I mean, it is the answer if you want to get it out really quickly. That should be like the last, last resort. Thank God you don't care. That was tragic to see. It made me upset. It was scary. 
It's gonna be my nightmares tomorrow. This TikTok is by Hillary Alvarez. And this is captioned, I always have fun with these. It says, hi, here we go again. Oh God, with real scissors. Ooh, love that. Ooh, curtain bangs. Ah, yes. Oh, and she's following my tutorial. Oh, round of applause for Brad Mondo. So she's following the how to cut a shag tutorial and the how to cut your own curtain bangs one. Ooh, a shag with some curtain bangs. That's my absolute favorite. Ooh, okay section. She's doing good. I love the way she's cutting with the correct fingers and doing a very precise cut. It looks very nice. And I love her hair color already. Oh, this is the hard part. Can she do it right? Can she do it right? That over direction can really trip people up. Oh, it looks perfect. I mean, you could have over directed a little bit more so you get more of that, you know, sweeping moment. Ooh, we're taking the hair to the top of the head and chopping it off. And now we're giving layers around the face. Oh, I love it. Oh my God. And she's doing pink on one side and orange on the other. One of my favorite combinations of colors ever. I can't wait to see this haircut. Oh my God. Mm, can we talk about how incredible you look? The haircut and the hair color combo. It's like, damn, you didn't have to do it that good. That looks sick. Absolutely. You did a 10 out of 10, an amazing job. I'm happy you follow my tutorials and you did it very well. Amazing job. I wish everybody followed the tutorials that well. Sometimes it can get a little bit crazy. That was a journey. It had ups and it had downs, but some amazing hair transformations. And I'm so happy for you guys. Besides that girl that burned her hair off, I still feel bad for you. Are you okay? Let me know if you need anything. If you guys like to follow me or my hair care brands, these are our social handles. Also, you can check out X Mono Hair and X Mono Color. Link right down below. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.